official position that I've always held is the position of Canada. And um, you'll know from my biography that I was the, the Minister of Foreign Affairs. And so this, the, the two-state solution, which uh, is entirely predicated on a negotiated peace, is the long-held position of our country, of uh, governments of all political stripes. We believe in the self-determination of both Palestine and Israel, that they both, of course, have uh, the right to determination and independence. And with regard to the, the earlier reference, Doha, to the, the Israeli embassy, this is also the position of the party, the Conservative Party, which took a democratic vote on this subject matter at uh, previous assemblies. And, uh, you, you know, a, as part of your own uh, organization, you understand that we operate on a democratic basis. And so the membership voted on this particular position. Um, our policies, of course, are influenced, determined by the membership in many ways. And so these are also subject to input in the future. And, and uh, it's, it's a controversial issue. Uh, perhaps less so. Other countries have also taken the, this particular view that that's the, the location of their embassy. It has to be done clearly in consultation with the Israeli government, which has been anything but stable of late, but uh, appears to be more so. What Mr. Netanyahu has done uh, is very much based on politics and is very much uh, contrary to the long-standing uh, position that that type of annexation does have international law implications. And so this isn't uh, about posturing politically or taking positions that are going to appeal to one side or the other. And that's why I'm not avoiding the question. I'm simply saying that this is not really a position that a Canadian politician is going to shape the outcome of. If this, uh, if this moves forward, I suspect that there is gonna be violence, uh, which is certainly the last thing we wanna see. If we see the type of uh, uh, land, you know, intrusions that have happened in the past, uh, there, there is very much likely to be further inflamed tensions in the region, and we don't want to see that. And you may have perhaps not heard my answer fully, but I have expressed directly to Israeli politicians when I was in office uh, our opposition to that.